We are on air and live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Well, sorry for the production quality this week, ladies and germs. Uh, seeing as how I only host every 20 episodes or so. Right. Literally, like, last one was 123, and now we're at 143. So that's, shit, that's half a year, isn't it? Yeah. Doggy. Puppy dog. Yep, they got some guest stars this episode. How many they got now? Down to two. Aw. Got this one and this one. Hmm. German Shepherd. Should I tell the blind kid that he's looking at the dog's ass? (laughs) There, you can see more of them there. Aw. Though he's, though he's being needy. Mm-hmm. That's like Lola. Is she? So she was the run of the litter, so she's like a. She's spoiled. Our uh, you know? our Newfie was the run of the litter. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's like some like five months, and she's already fifty five pounds. It's gonna be huge, huge. So anyway, Dude. what's Mr. Ian been up to other than watching the puppies? Well, if you guys didn't listen to last week's episode, you're probably not listening to this episode, so it kind of defeats the purpose, but, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm watching the dogs for them for this week, so technically you're going to be hosting twice because my parents aren't going to be coming home until next Saturday. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, uh, um, uh. that's that's why I, I was trying to get uh, I was trying to I brought my mixer and stuff. I was gonna try to get my uh, my other headset and my uh, I had a a cable to plug in my phone here to uh-huh. do the sound effects, but the. Uh, the adapter to go inside of the like I was gonna have it go to, into the tablet, mm-hmm. but the this adapter that I had uh, wasn't working too well because like I had to yet you, you had to join the, like the t- I had to go from like a microphone to go into the tablet and then you know you needed the out to go to the headphones so you need one of those. Uh, Gotcha. You need to make a small form factor PC. Uh, well, I, what I need is a laptop. That's what I need. Uh. But, uh, yes. So basically, I was trying to use this. I have this one end. These two ends were going to go into my. One was going to go into my mixer, and then one was going to go into my headphones. Uh-huh. And then the other side was. It's a three pole. Hmm. So, uh, I was trying to use that, and for some reason, the cable is kind of faulty. So, hmm. I was trying to, I was having limited success with this other thing that I was using that I had in my, uh, where is it? At? I had it in my bag also. It, it was basically a, this is a three pole also, but it was meant for like, you know, the component video signals, mm-hmm. but they're, they're, you know, they're just RCA jack. So, uh, I assume since it's just RCA going into a, the same kind of jack, I figured it would work and it, it kind of did, but it, it wasn't being reliable for me, uh, before we try to start the show, you know, of course. Right. So, I mean, I was thinking I I could order something. I don't have prime shipping, but I could have something ordered maybe by next week if I paid for it. I just don't know if it's worth it or not. It's not worth it. You don't think it's worth it? (laughs) I don't think. I know it's not worth it. I mean, if I really wanted, I could, you know, actually edit the videos afterwards. (laughs) But who's got 
Ain't nobody got time for that. That's right. Fuck it. Do it live. So, what, what about? Else? Uh, not much else, really. Uh, how about you? Well, by the by the way, I'm eating these. What are these? Kit Kat. Ooh, nice. Kit Kat bites. Well, I don't, I believe I mentioned on the show I finally got the new hotness, the One Plus Seven Pro, and uh, that's just the box. <laughs> the real. So device. it's so it's an eight Pro then. Nah. Well, it's One Plus Seven. No, the company is One Plus. The model is for the seven. Trying to get this thing out of Verizon was funny because, like, I'd read that they have no idea what the hell, like, it is. And it's one of the most popular phones on the internet. You pull up YouTube and it's all over, right? Right. Nobody on fucking Verizon knows it. We're like, like, what kind of phone is it? It's OnePlus 7 Pro. Is it? Is it a Samsung? No, no. Because, you know, <laughs> they got the Pro and the numbers and shit. And that throws it for a loop. Like, no, OnePlus is the company. It's an unlocked phone. Oh. And the... My wife tried to chat with the person on Verizon's thing, which was a failure, because I said, just tell them we need to make it CDMA-less. It's all the articles I had seen said. And the mm. the rep said, oh, sure, I would uh, be happy to make your uh, cell phone CDMA. And I'm like, no, it's got to be CDMA-less. Honey. And she's like, hey, I trust the person on Verizon because they work there. I go, okay. And a couple minutes later, I think I oversold this person. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they were muy loco la cabeza. And uh, they kept trying to get us on tech support, and then the chat disconnected. So we just called, and the lady spoke English, but it was just big, like no, I, no, no. It was no. A, it was a big long run on sentence. Like you. <laughs> I imagine this is like the kind of person that like types the entire email in the subject line. Like that's the person what they would sound like if they spoke like that. Just um Yeah. This was our main response to everything. I'm sorry, what? And Do what? And she was troubleshooting and at one point she asked for the IMEI or however whatever number, number which is your identifier for your phone. And it's on the back of my box because it's not in the phone settings, apparently, even though it should be. And uh, she's like, oh, and I was like, there's two of them. And the lady was like, yeah, so give me the number. And she's like, there are two of them. Which one do you want? She goes, yes, two, four, six, eight, two, twelve. Yes, there are 15 digits. I was like, there are two sets of numbers. <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want number one or number two? And she, even w w talking to tech support, she couldn't figure it out. And then she gave us to her manager. And my wife actually figured it out by Googling. It's because the payment and the network settings don't match up. So there's a drop-off that where they're confused. So I shut off my phone. She reset my uh, network. I restarted my phone. She sent me a, a test message. It worked fine. Calls and everything worked fine. Data worked fine. But text messages, I could send them. I just could not get them. Because... What? Well, what it is, is... What it is, is... You know how Verizon, like, for years, it's been... Oh, they're CDMA. It's so Sprint. And mm. everyone else is GSM. Well, sure. um, now... You're a tech guy. Don't act like you don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> so... The thing is, uh, now they're going to LTE, Lightning Technology Evolution, which is their 5G band. So the old 4, well, 4G is still okay, but 3G and 2G is just going away. And by default, Verizon was trying to pump my text through 2G or 3G or whatever, and my phone doesn't even have that, so it wasn't getting any of it. But that sucks, man. Yeah, it was it was a big headache and you know more hassle than you know it should have been. But it was yeah. I, I you know I'm I'm glad I bought the phone. I like it. So I like it all. <clears throat> yeah. But now 
Soda Talk with Frank and Ian. Uh, Soda Talk? What you drinking on? What's what's that? Tea. Tea water. Tea water? Yeah. What you drinking on? All right, hold your horses. Hold on there, cowboy. Hold on there. What? How far away are you from your drink? Oh, I... I went up to the kitchen to get something to uh, something to raise up my uh, my camera here. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so I got I found some more of my pineapple Fanta. Ooh. Got that. Got some uh, ice. Um, I brought over a bunch of my ices. Uh, I've finished one and I put some toilet water in it. Uh, and I also, in the fridge, I got some, uh, of that vanilla orange Coke or whatever. So that's if I really need any, but I don't think I'll be needing that tonight. What about you? Good, sir. Hello? Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, we're back. We're back. Till it it doesn't work. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what my damn thing's problem is. I, I don't know. I literally, I opened a folder and everything just froze and resetting caused that I get an error 68 on my motherboard. It's Asus. And what's, what's lame is the error can't even be, it's like one off from being a cool number, you know? Right. 69 dudes. Yeah. You could at least do that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm probably not even running my RAM at the, you know, optimum setting. I don't care as long as it fucking runs, I'm fine. But uh, yeah, I forgot to share before uh, before I was rudely interrupted. Um, my uh, hold on. Here's a what picture I took of my phone. Is it flashing for you too, or just me? Yeah, it's flashing. That's weird. Why the hell is it flashing? Hmm. Try that again. But yeah. This is a picture of my new phone I took with my old phone. And I shared it online, and somebody was like, oh, that's too small to be the 7 Pro. It must be the 7. I go, no, it's the 7 Pro, and the 7 has a notch. This doesn't. Oh. Yeah. And he says, oh, well, then your hands are fucking huge. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Damn yeah. right. Actually, I used an anime gif of uh, Millhouse from The Simpsons raising his eyebrows. Anyway, so we're doing soda talk. Yeah, we did. We did um, mine. I I had the uh, pineapple Fanta and some ice. Uh, what do you got? I'm really, look, I'm really digging the uh, Sioux City Birch beer. So I got some more of that, and then I got ice um, on ice. And then I got this new stuff. It's called water. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good. Eh, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I figure I'd give it a try. So, anyway. Anyway, doggy. Oh. She'll call him any spirit. Oh. You want to, um,. Get into your video of the week. 
video of the week. Actually, you do it because your voice is in it. <laughs> it's not hard and seek. It's the video of the week. Oh, yeah. I know which one this is. Yeah. I didn't have much this week, so it's a... It's a screen one. Yeah, where uh, Linus tries out the 8K gaming. Gaming. 256 gaming bytes. Yeah, like... Of course, Linus doesn't fucking look at the damn instructions. No. Before I don't know. Put, which is stupid. Let's pick up this big, heavy, expensive TV without reading how to put the fucking feet on it. Yeah. I mean, they look like if you had a mount, like, those would be the, you know, how those would mount. So it looks like it's the same damn thing. I'm kind of surprised they didn't they didn't put a mount in there and because that's supposed to be like their gaming lounge or whatever. Gaming. Well, you know they keep changing shit up. Why would they mount something to a wall if it might just change? Well, yeah, but I mean you could always take the TV off and put another one on. Well, that's what they do though. They always take the TV off and put another one on. How many have they had already? <laughs> I don't know, man. They like. <clears throat> oh, this is the this is the best TV ever. No, this one is. It's like his phones, you know. Like no, th- mm-hmm. it's like uh, unbox therapy's phones. No, this is my daily driver. Right. Well, it's you know, that's how they do. They're like, this is the greatest and latest, and then people go, I gotta buy that, and then and the next week, and here's the latest and greatest. And I, I just bought the. No, you gotta buy the 8K, that only kind of works, like, really realistically. There's no fucking reason to buy this TV. Well, did you see how when they put up, they brought up the star menu, how small the star menu was? Yeah, it was like a pop-up in the corner. And it's supposed to be the entire start menu. (laughs) How do you think that would be on your eyes? Um, not good. (laughs) And like, you gotta go all the side hacks. Yeah. Plus, the DPI scaling on the windows was all fucked up, too. Yeah, to, like, go across the screen, he had to use the, move the mouse the entire distance of the table, like, twice. Yeah. But if you want to say you got 8K, sure. But, I mean, realistically, it's better to just get, like, you know, 4K or even 1440p at a playable frame rate. If you're a movie snob, I guess 4K, like, I mean, I don't know. They just wanted to have an excuse to start using their red footage natively. Right. It was a cool experiment. I like watching it just for that. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's like, oh, did it work? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, really. Yeah, and then I remember, didn't one part of the video started, like, fucking everything up? Yeah, like, uh, I was already scrolling up, like, scrubbing to that part. It was uh, when they put the fix in it to be able to actually use their AK footage. Like, it made everything green. He's like, oh, yeah, it made it, like, weird colors. (laughs) Yeah, see there. Yeah. Don't worry. And they had to to navigate around those menus. Yeah. It's like, Trying to find something rare on like a Russian site. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, now my, my video of the week. Just sorry, video not of the week. Not trying to do anything, uh, you know, like bossy or nothing. I'm just trying to blast through this because it's almost midnight move, already. Move along. Moving along. So this cat. Built a 23 terabyte Plex server. Hmm. And, uh, he literally just bought an old Dell computer off, like, eBay. Or, sorry, HP computer, sorry. 
and I put a eight terabyte, a three terabyte, and uh, what was the other one? He put a bigger one in there to make it, you know, twenty three terabytes. What was it? Ten? Let's see. Yeah, I um believe that would be correct. Sorry, I can't fast math. Eight yeah, three right. is eleven. So, uh, so he had a twelve then. Maybe. Hold on, dog. I mean, they yeah. they make those. Yeah, there's a Seagate uh, EOS, which is their like enterprise grade or whatever. Yeah, twelve, which was three hundred sixty bucks. What uh, what allured you to this video specifically, though? Well, I'm always uh, all about guys buying just big ass hard drives and stick it in their computers. And then, like, he had me when he's like, hey, let's build this. And he just whips out, uh, you know, a shitty computer he bought off eBay. I'm like, okay, what's he going to do next? <laughs> and, like, well, you know, he, he, he breaks down how much he paid for it, you know, like the parts and stuff. And he's like, okay. He's like, well, where am I going to stick this fucking thing? So he's got this little cubby, I guess, on his uh, desk here. And he goes, I could fit that fucker in there. That's what he so, said. Yeah. So, so he measures his shit out and like... <clears throat> he cut a hole in the back and put in a fan... All right, to make sure it didn't overheat. But yeah, he didn't like run Molex or anything like that. You know what he used to power it? What? A USB adapter. <laughs> nice. He just plugged into he just plugged into a fucking USB port on the thing. <laughs> so. I can't remember what he took out of it to be able to squeeze all those drives in there. I don't know if it was like a CD drive or something. But he put Docker on this thing. Which I'm like, okay, that's different. You don't see a lot of videos about that. He put what on it? Docker? Docker. Is that is that like the networking software or the partitioning or RAID yeah. or whatever? Yeah. He's he, He's got a... He's like, I got a video about that if you want more detail. I'm like, yeah, people watch that if you want. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but he makes it. sounds not fun. Well, I mean, yeah, it depends. I mean, it's, it's basically, I think it's like a, a derivative of Linux, if I remember correctly. Hmm. It's, you know, all about how you get Plex on there. Because Plex is, you know, pretty universal. It's the same. It's the same experience no matter what, you know, what you're running it on. It's just what you want to do for your everyone. I told everyone that I, you know, my my NAS is running Windows 10, and they're like, "Why don't you run Linux?" I'm like, "Cause I'm not comfortable having to go in and Google shit every time I want to change something. I could just hop on it and click buttons." Yeah, you don't want to have to hack your way into just installing, like, I don't know, like Winamp or something, you know. Yeah, I mean, I can run virtual machines, but whatever. So this is, you know, just, it was a fun little video. It got me hip to the guy's channel. And I like to see, you know, different things come out every now and then. So, you know, whenever, like, server stuff, Plex stuff pops up in my uh, thing all the time. And when I see it, someone I don't recognize, I, I want to give them a, you know, a try and see. And the guy's video is pretty cool. I thought so. What, what did you do for your computer so far for your NAS? I mean, I know that you don't have a whole lot of storage in there yet, but are you uh, running anything on there? Or are you just uh, sharing folders? Um, just uh, just Plex right now. Just um, Plex? Yeah, and just I just literally uh, unplugged my external drives. I had all my... Uh, files on it and plug them into this thing. Hmm. That was it. That was it. Uh, excuse me. I, I plan on, you know, putting some drives in it and 
I don't know. I, I got VNC on it, so I don't have to sit at the box to do anything with it. I can just, I can even do it from my phone. Yeah. Y'all got phones? <laughs> well, I mean, does does your wife watch anything off of there? Nah. No. Nah. She she, she just... got Hulu Live, so like she watches current stuff. Cause I'll be like, you know, we like she'll be watching a shitty censored movie on TV, and I'll be like, you know, we have this unedited, and we could watch the whole thing. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, me, I'll watch something, and you know, as soon as they start going mother loving, I go, okay, where's where's the copy I have? Let me pull that shit up. Yeah. Because even FX, they say shit and stuff now, but that doesn't even do it. Yeah. Well, it's like, you're like trying to watch... Uh, did they ever try to put like Fall Fiction on TV? Yeah. I don't know like yeah. what channels, but like back in the day it was on HBO and shit all the time. Right. Okay. Let's get into the stations because, you know, it's, it's midnight. Uh, uh... Station. So, what's your theme, sir? Uh, theme. Theme is your theme. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I mean, I guess it's a good one. We're just going like uh, look at this here. I feel I need more lights. Surprised you didn't go with an RGB. I mean, his desk, his his keyboard's RGB, but that's it. Yeah. He just says he has lights. It's nice. I, d- I saw I like I saw this one earlier, and I was like, "That's nice." You got the bigger monitor on top. Just how I like it. Yes, he's using it as a TV, but that's wrong. Because what? Unless you're sitting on a couch on the other side of the room, you can't watch that. Right. So, yes, I, I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. Give, give me a thumb in on the liking. Now you're next in. Ooh, is that a couple station? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. The couple that plays together, I don't know. Plays together? Right. Well, at least I would hope that they would play together. Because if not, that sucks for him. I mean, I don't see any speakers, so hopefully they both have headphones. Well, I see one set of headphones. That, that would be, you know, a pain in the ass to sit next to somebody with a loud... Uh, Computer games going. Is that an all red tower or is that pink? I think it's red. I can't tell because the lighting from the nano lens kind of bounces off there. If you look at the darker side, it does look a little bit. It still looks red, you know. Who gives a shit? Next. Right. That's that's pretty good though. It'd be nice. Mm-hmm. I was tempted to have this one in here because it was so like boom in your face. Yeah, it is, man. I killed adult today. I like that. No, are those Bear Dynamic uh, headphones or the knockoffs? It might be. I can't tell. You're the, the knockoffs. Head... The knockoffs You're the are shaped somewhere. Yeah, the... I also can't tell. Are those Fidelios? The other pair that's by the tower? And there's two more pair down here on the underside. Yeah. He's got a lot of specific tastes, doesn't he? Well, you know. You got your base cans, your high treble cans, your monitoring yeah. cans. 
Your wife were, cans. <laughs> them were monitor just us doing the show, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need to hear myself talk. That's stupid. I do. I do. I don't need to, you don't want to be like Ben. Well, you can't talk while hearing yourself echo in your ear. It makes you trip up. Hello? Hello? What? 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 Yeah, no. I don't do that. <laughs> I uh, I do a mic check and just make sure I'm up, my levels are good, and then I cut it the fuck off. Let's see. What's he say? Guys, mm. is that like a unique setup? What all headphones are in this picture? Are those? I can never remember how to spell it. Aerodynamic. Cappy. Control V. Question mark. Comment. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I mean, they each have their own merits here. Yeah. <sighs> I'm I would probably say, say the last one is the best, you know? It's it's my favorite because it has the most character. I like the use of purple. <laughs> um, he has yeah. a misfit sticker. Like all the other ones are kind of just over top of each other. The mess of this one stands out. And then he's got a bunch of headphones so that's you know near and dear to my heart. Uh, yeah. Internet gave them fifty five. This one's got one point nine thousand. Probably because like I wish I had a girl to play games with. <laughs> and then this one's like one hundred and twenty one. So their internet's wrong. We're right. Yeah, well, I would probably say my, that though. The first wrong, one Colonel is my Sanders. least. Your yeah, least you're wrong, Colonel Sanders, and Mama's right. <laughs> All right, Steve but yeah, Sanders. it was it progressively got better. So the first one would probably be the worst. I would say. I mean, it was all right. It was like so sterile, though. Yeah. Okay, my theme. Is I pulled up some stations I like, and here they are. Uh, yours is a Frank theme, too. Yeah. But look at this one. Got the... Got the Asus uh, ROG uh, graphics card. <sighs> yes. Excuse me. Was matching RGB. The, the Tron background with the keycaps and the fake candles all matching. They know how to match. They got the mouse and the keyboard and the and the wallpaper and the Do they got any fake plants to go with their fake candles? Uh I don't know. Needs more cowbell. <laughs> Someone said. You always use more of that. Right. Also. I hate the image of ones. You gotta click on it. Okay. Once again, more pink and purple, but not as well put together. <laughs> right. But then, you know, it's not got, bad. No, I mean, their keyboard kind of matches their actual tower down there. I don't know why they need such a long Ethernet cable. I mean, it said freshly moved by all stations. Maybe the computer was way off. Is that like some kind of chat in there, or is that. That's a that's, uh, Spotify. Uh... Motherfucker. Sorry, it's kind of kind of hard to read with on the phone. Um, and then yeah, nice the, giant 4K screen. Right. Well, I try to zoom in. 
Zoom enhance. <laughs> Luckily, most pictures have a larger version. Now this one, <laughs> they arrange the icons in a funny way to make a funny face. <laughs> and they got big monitors. Yeah, that's cool. And like the first comment I really liked, the guy was like, oh, that's cool. Well, you know, I'll vote. And holy shit, what kind of computer is that? Do you see that shit, Ian? Yeah, what is that shit? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Was that like nine fans? Uh, that are visible. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool setup, upload. Then I look up at my screen and go, what in the fuck kind of monster computer is that? It's, you better not use that giant thing to just play Fortnite. He says, nah, PUBG for life. It's like my 12 year old son plays Fortnite. <laughs> okay, it's Intel. Still can't I play Crisis. Right, Intel i7 3930K hex core overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. Uh, Asus Rampage Extreme 4 motherboard, Extreme. custom BIOS. Right, Patriot 64 gig of 2133 cast latency uh, 13. It's 2133, but it's cast latency 13. With the uh, Strix 1080 Ti. A gigabyte 770 one force Samsung 970 Pro one terabyte Samsung 960 Evo one terabyte and Samsung 960 Pro 500 and a RAID controller with a bunch of uh, RAID 5 drives. God damn, so I'm assuming I'll go ahead. What said someone said, God damn, it must cost you a bunch. He said, Yeah, also a nice detail the way you organize the desktop icons. He says, My daughter did that. <laughs> Dude, that thing is a fucking fortress. What case and how many hard drives in there? Mountain mods extended ascension with the extra pedestal. And with eleven drives, three SSD and eight spinning with two RAID five arrays. Shit. Okay. I'm That'd assuming be... he's got like a you said he's got a seven seventy in there too. Is that just an extra GPU I... just for monitors? I have no fucking idea, probably. Going to the uh, website for the case that he's got here. Nice, like I want it. No, I don't. No. Oh well, he said with the what is it with the extra pedestal? Well, before you factor that in, it's looking at four hundred nineteen dollars for the case. Shit. Sure. Well, what you wouldn't want to be able to have four eleven drives in there. Um, close that back up. Three SSD and eight spinning, but I mean, I don't know if that's maxed out or if he's still got room. He's got to have more room. Right. I wonder how much that shit weighs. Uh, uh oh, a lot. I think it's a mountain mods case, indeed. However, there are too much mod work needing to be done for it. Did not realize it was just a giant miner case. We'll just stick with my rack and figure out from there. Thank you, Internet Stranger. So it's a mining case. Well, that's what someone's. That's what somebody said. He says, "Not the case. Check the link." Been using this case since I built the original PC five to six years ago. There are way cheaper solutions for mining. This is a custom water cooling case. From multi PC case or multi PC case, and uh, I used a custom water cooling case with the dual triple 360 uh, millimeter radiators, and we'll be adding another triple 360 millimeter radiator and custom loop for my 1080 Ti. Originally, it was built with three way SLI 770s and a 36 terabyte RAID array, but I've upgraded since then. It's like Nate said, though, you need an amp miner. You're not doing it right. So yeah, this is a uh, just insanity. 
I mean. Say to the membrane. It's say to the bird. So. I'm going to say. Probably the first one's my favorite. And then. Hmm. Go, go through it again. This one? This is the first one. Second one. And third one. Yeah, I would probably agree. I kind of don't like the desk on that one. Well, the second one is a little, you know, messy. And the first one is a uh, very clean and thought out. So, yeah, that's I right. sure. Now it's time for the news, 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 news. Oh, by the way, I I meant to get into this when we were doing uh uh soda talk, but we kind of got cut off in the middle of it. I have some stories. Some soda stories. Yes. Hmm. Respawn is by Razor is a mental performance drink. Yes, Razor is getting into the energy drink thing, Ian. Oh shit. No. Gaming. Don't call, don't call it an energy drink, but respawn is actually quite good and different from the rest. From Windows Central. Gaming fuel. Now, I didn't read this article. I just saw it and said people will probably want to look at this because if you like Razor shit, and you like energy drinks, maybe put the both of them together. Maybe not. I don't know. Because Windows Central was no. like, oh, it's you know actually kind of good. And then if you go to this uh, Tom's Guide story, Watch our whole office freak out after drinking Razor's energy drink. You see this guy? Look at this guy. This fucking guy. According to my Fitbit, I have a resting heart rate of 50 beats per minute. It just jumped to 63. I do feel more awake than I did a half hour ago. I feel like my soul got punched out of my body like in Doctor Strange. <laughs> well, I but, get that reference. Frank wouldn't, though. I I know Doctor Strange is a Marvel character. That's all I give a shit about. And then, KFC is serving an exclusive Mountain Dew flavor, and it's the perfect summer sip. Sweet hmm. lightning. What? On July 1st, Exclusive KFC flavor. Beverage of Sweet Lightning is a punch of peach and a touch of honey flavors. Hmm. Now I have a KFC down the road from my house, so I'm gonna try that shit. Yeah. But back to the news. Yeah, back to the news. Start us off with the news, Zoe. She's she's tired too. She she's on and she didn't even care. She's Andy Navi By Arch. the way, did I, hmm? did I ever show you my parents' giant 4K TV there? Yes, yes you did. Yeah. Okay. So, RX 5700 XT and Ryzen specs overclocking architecture memory overclock. I just remember the, like, all the memes were, like, pre-dented so Linus can't drop it. <laughs> They're like, Linus drops it, straightens out. You've been following some uh, Gamers Nexus lately, dude. Yeah. Well, he's been having his... You know, lately he's been having all of his news articles nice and organized, you know. I've always enjoyed Might Gamers as well. Nexus content, content. Yeah. I mean, I didn't watch his videos, but I I just went through the, the, the articles, you know. I like... um. 
he's very very in depth, but man, they just flat out read benchmarks to you, and that you got to be really in it for the numbers. Yeah, for that it, now he knows his shit, like you said, but it can be kind of boring. I, I didn't say boring, but yeah, I've nodded off a couple times watching someone, and then like when he doesn't, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying it was boring, but it was boring. <laughs> yeah, and then like he does um I like his little uh update videos where he just talks about the news of the day because there's literally like a little progress bar that shows you how much longer he'll talk about a given subject. That's helpful. Oh okay. It says update prices are four fifty for the RX fifty seven hundred XT and uh three eighty for the uh, RX 5700. They're going to the 100 lines, back to the 100 lines with the AMD cards. Hmm. That's what, I don't know if you remember the Radeon HD cards. Be, that was before mm -hmm. the 300 mm -hmm. series. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, they have a bunch of, uh, Oh, yeah, GPU specs here. Uh, read us the GPU specs, Frank. Uh, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Um, where? Uh, there's a section called just GPU specs. I think I went too far. Oh. AMD has two GPUs that's planned to release in July of 2019 with exact date to be announced or to be determined at time of filming. Ryzen 3000 mostly launches on July 7th. So the GPUs will push around the same time. The two cards will be on the will be the RX 5700 XT and RX 5700 non XT, both moving away from the GCN uh, and towards the new RDNA architecture. We've known GCN to be extremely limited in cache bandwidth and in scalability past 56 uh, CUs. So RDNA will be a refreshing change that should be interesting to study. GCN will stay alive for the high-performance, deep learning, and non-gaming market segments, but RDNA will be the gaming architecture going forward. Okay, so the uh, 5700 and 5700 XT, respectively, are uh, 36 and 40 compute units, uh, 7.95 and 9.75 teraflops. Uh, both are 8 gigabytes DDR6, um, 1725 megahertz and 1905 megahertz boost clock, uh, 1625 Megahertz and seventeen fifty five are the core, the uh, game clock, and then the base clock it, for both of them is fourteen sixty five and sixteen oh five. So it looks like that's still a little bit under. Uh, well, the uh, what is yours? What is ours again? Because I know ours was the same, wasn't it? Like I forget. <laughs> what 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 are you asking? What was our boost clock for the uh, 2800? I think 16 or 18. I can't remember. I thought it was, wasn't it 1890? I can't fucking remember. You don't yeah. Know? So it's it's somewhere around that neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Uh, I don't know if the teraflops are as high, though, because I thought ours was in the double digits, wasn't it? Well, because, see, it's hard to find the teraflops because you always find uh, ray ops. Yeah. And it did mention something about as RDNA mm -hmm. product level benefits. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, now, I'm... Ray tracing vision, they're calling it, I guess, now. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a version. Yeah. Now, did you see any of the NVIDIA Super stuff? No, I did not. You have something to throw in there? Yeah, I forgot. Uh, 
to the Floyd uh, send me a Twitter message with a link to uh, this article that I got zoom enhanced because it's tiny. Exclusive NVIDIA Super GPUs Unleashing uh, Monsters. And originally the title was uh, We'll Leave Navi Dead on Arrival. But then, update. Specification has been added for another source. Very uh, venerable. Uh, almost everything uh, coincides with the information I have, with the only exception being the 2080s VRAM. Uh, this is one point where the source was mighty, so I would lean towards uh, the other charts. So, hmm. yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to be hurt if NVIDIA decides to try to launch something to compete with Navi because competition is always good. Make them get off their ass. Well, I thought Navi was their competition for the right, you know, the 20 series. Okay, but I said NVIDIA launching a uh, competition to compete with Navi. That's okay, but I'm I'm saying that Nvidia they've already they did the competition first though. AMD's cards were never mind. If you do it first, you're not competition. You're just the originator. And then someone else comes along and competes. Yeah. Right? I mean... Right, but I it, guess it, they're going to be just trying yeah. to do a new line then or something, or... I, it's going to be more powerful. I don't know, like... Because it's... It, it, there's a whole block of fucking text here, and I'm not going to read through it. it, it you just... You just uh, I didn't include it in the email because I forgot about it. Okay. But it's it's WCCF Tech, so it's all leaks and everything right now, so no one really knows anything for sure. I mean, just look up NVIDIA Super, and you'll find plenty of articles about it. They, I mean, they're already the high-end market, and AMD is never really, like, they try to be the high-end market, and it's not really working out for them. They're, they do really well with the lower end, or mid-tier, and if they can grab what Nvidia is trying to do for less price, they'll they'll win. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah. But back to the well, discussion at hand. Well, I mean, basically we can wrap this up. I, I think your uh this next article will be right up your alley, Frank. Oh no. No, don't worry. I know it will be. Oh, no. AMD 16-core Ryzen 9, uh, 3950X up to 4.7 gigahertz, 105 watts, coming September. September. There you go. So, that's just the regular desktop, consumer desktop Ryzen, though. That's not the... That's not the... The... Uh, HED high end desktop one, the Threadripper, right? That's just no, I'm Ryzen. pretty sure that is a Threadripper because what, what's the 16 core Threadripper? That's a 1950X. This is a 3950X. Mm, yeah, awful small for a Threadripper chip. Well, that's what Threadripper is, is a 16 core and 32 mm. core. I mean. I have the first gen was eight, but no, I thought the whole deal was they're bringing the 16 core to the consumer bench, not the high end bench. Well, the high, the highest uh, consumer now that they have was the 12. Not if they bump it up to 16, dog. Remember, remember when OctaCore was a big thing? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think these are regular consumer chips, dog. Because it doesn't say Threadripper nowhere near it. Which, Threadripper is, like I said, HED, uh, HED, high-end desktop. It's it's a totally different, let's see, pricing. Oh, yeah, there's, there's 749. 
Or it's to say the socket, because the socket is TR4. Right, and then check cores, boots, frame with me. Price. Oh, it is. Okay, so it is going to be a... Uh, by using the AM4 socket, AMD recommends uh, mm -hmm. using the Ryzen 9 3950X with one of the new X570 motherboards. Yeah, so it's still... It's still... Uh, well, they're, they're fucking up the number convention, then. Well, because, you know, they already got the X, and they 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 don't have... Does it, I don't think they have a non-X in the lineup here for 39. No. Uh, like, the uh, lowest... That's... Like, the 9s... I, I don't know. So, I'm but, guessing that it's going to be a... What is it? Are they going to go for a 3990X, then? That's oh, well, see, also, rubber? I forgot... Like I I don't know what the twenty nine twenty nine fifty I don't know if it was W like the WX stands for workstation. Hold on now, now I gotta mm -hmm. look new egg in the shit here. Once you uh, know your new egg. Twenty nine fifty X. That is that is a, a Threadripper 2990X or 2950X, but then when you get to 2990, is WX. Yeah. So I don't fucking know. I don't. So are they bumping the 16 down to the consumer grade? It's the same price as the original when you got the. Yeah, that's well, pretty pricey for their consumer then. Well, I mean, it's actually it's a little bit like when you buy the when you would buy the Threadripper 15 core or 16. Core it was uh, originally like eight hundred bucks, so seven forty nine is technically like the sale price of a you know a thread thread for the thing. It, I mean, if they're gonna, they've got to be up in the core count on their consumer grade because they're probably up in the core count on their thread because Epic's gonna already be going up to sixty four. Yeah. Which nobody thought they logistically they can't do it. I'm like, no, they're gonna fucking do it, dude. All they're doing is doubling. They've been doing that. Same with RAM. And so, no, they're not gonna do it. And then they announced they were gonna do it. I'm like, oh, look at that shit. Because as soon as they announced the chiplets, we could stick more dyes on a silicon. But yeah, I mean, this one has a the whole thing is water cool because they got to cool the VRMs. And they have a built-in fan. This one, I think, has built-in water cooling. Mm. Did you see Linus's... Uh, I almost did his uh, video of his personal rig update. His uh, whole board has a water block. <laughs> so, like, it comes with a CPU pre-installed, and then you... The whole, like, your M.2s, your CPU, and... Um, a big chunk of your board is, or your VRMs, everything is just one big fucking heat sink. Yeah, I was meaning to watch that. Plus, I have the uh, that water cooled phone save that he did. Yeah, I saw him, but I thought about doing it. But since you did a Linus video, I didn't want to make it seem like we're sucking the LTT dick. So, <laughs> LTT titty? In uh, a little pee pee. Anyway, moving on. LTTPP. Yeah. Moving on, because, you know, I got shit to do. Literally shit. shit. I, my, my dogs, I got a shit. Yeah. Adobe trained AI to detect facial manipulation in Photoshop. Too bad that they're charging for subscriptions and no one wants Adobe anymore. <laughs> yeah. Manipulate a photo. Detected manipulations. Suggested undo. Yeah, a team of Adobe and UC Berkeley researchers trained AI to detect facial manipulation in images edited with Adobe Photoshop. The researchers hope the tool will help restore trust in digital media at the time when deep fakes and fake faces are more common and more deceptive. It could also uh, democratize image forensics, making it possible for more people to 
uncover image manipulation. I mean, like, it's sad now where we got to go with the computer. A computer, is this a fake? Because we can't, the human eye can't even tell. And then, like, maybe this will, I mean, the, when I think of, you know, detect Photoshop fakes, I imagine, like, those people who post themselves on uh, Tinder and, like, they're the skinniest they've ever looked, but all the walls by their stomach are, like, warped. Yeah. Be a similar effect. But the thing is, is we're going to put so much trust in, into this AI and technology and stuff. And now it's going to be affecting like legal systems and stuff, using it for evidence. Well, I mean, they have been like they have that. Remember, they had that video of uh, Obama that did something he never said because they took audio and matched it up. It was a dude from Key and Peele doing an Obama impersonation, right? Right. So I mean, you can't just go by you know, if you if you don't do computer analysis, it's just a bunch of assholes sitting around talking about it. And yeah. That, it, already we go, did he kill the girl or not? Well, let's get twelve assholes in here and talk about it for two weeks, and then let them sit in the room and talk about it. And then tell us that they can't do it after they spend all this money, or we can get a fucking computer to do it. If you add a, a you know, a whole like jury selection and everything for every fucking, you know, image debate, like it's gonna have to be on. It's gonna be like a YouTube how they automate videos. No, that's porn. You can't post that on our site. Versus, yeah. no, no, that's fake news. Social media needs this because Zuckerberg's shitting his pants already. They're having the, the thought of hiring, you know, all these different people to just see everything and delete everything and catch it. So this will tell you right away. No, it's fake news. Fake news. You, may, we're all just such a work in progress, aren't we, Frank? Yeah, something like that. So bugs in a popular hospital pump. Uh, let a. Attackers altered drug doses. Fucking great. Yeah, so it's basically like a one of those uh what do you call those machines that people have implanted or whatever that you could hack? Those hard pacemaker? Pacemakers, yeah. Well this is a this is an external medicine dosing device, so you got there's okay up top they got a Laris regular pumps those are technically like IVs but then down in the bottom there those are mid infusion pumps those literally take a syringe and gradually increase a dosage as if you were, like were plunging the plunger by hand but in a completely timed and regulated thing so uh, work in a hospital I, I have intimate knowledge of that um do you know anybody like personally that uses like a lot of or needs a lot of uh, medication? Um, I mean no, but I have seen IV poles stacked to the gills like this before. Yeah. So, eh, it's. I mean, that's they're gonna hack everything and you know gain access. The more we make shit connect to the internet, the more likely something's going to happen. A spokesperson coming behind the infusion system told the Laris Gateway Workstation is in its most widely used pump and that it's not sold in the U.S. Oh, great. It's only the, you know, the foreigners got the problems. Yeah. Well, so the researchers found that attackers could exploit the bugs to install malware on the pump's onboard computer. Um, hold on. Sorry. Running Windows CE, which uh, powers and controls the device. They also found that attackers can use the vulnerabilities to remotely kick the pumps offline as well as address specific commands. And change the configuration and shit. That's crazy, man. Uh, yep. I mean, what, the, you're really, you're literally fucking with people's life then, you know? Right. And just because you want to, be cool, I guess. You gotta be 
one three three seven, right? Yeah, elite hacker. Target yeah. same day deliveries might break uh, my Amazon Prime addiction. Yeah, sure. Tell yourself <laughs> that. Go ahead. I'm not gonna read this because I don't believe them. I think they're full of shit. I think they're paid for by Target. Yeah, nah. Nah, son, nah. Same day shipping, except for when we don't have the fucking thing you want. I mean, they Target, I heard about this on the radio. Target had this uh, company a while ago that shipped, that you see they're buying their shirts. Yeah. But they offered it for a higher rate, and then they tried to, they decided they should drop it to try to you know, compete better. Yeah. Well, it says they, they're, try, they're aiming to do two-hour delivery, but uh, in the guy's case, it was like a few hours. Yeah. Like three or four. Nah. But I mean, Frank's like, I don't need it that fast. Well, like, if I do, I'll just go to the fucking store and buy it myself. Why wait two hours to end up getting the wrong thing? Yeah. Because, like, ha anytime I order anything online, you, it's never available in store. And if it was in my store, I would just go to it. Mm -hmm. I hate I hate going in and dealing with people, but literally, you know, most shit you would have to go to the store anyway to pick it up. And I don't, tr I don't trust the personal shoppers and all that to not get nasty shit. Well... Uh. There's a, the guy says a lot of good things about it, but I mean, it's just another option for you if you don't think that Amazon isn't the bees knee, the Bezos knees, right? Yeah, they're, they, don't worry, they'll they'll take our money. <laughs> Ajit Pai says NOAA and NASA are wrong. Well, of course they are. You're wrong, Colonel Sanders. Mom was right. So, they're wrong about 5G harming weather forecast. <sighs> yeah, you know, just telling them they're wrong and spend billions of dollars deploying this system and infrastructure and then flip the switch and find out the shit doesn't work. You there? Ian? He's like, okay. hmm. Hello? Yeah, your picture froze. I agree. Uh, yeah, he's like, hmm. I'm right. Yeah. I think I I'm mean, right. It's, it's... It's not that hard to, you know, go, what do I want to accomplish? Okay, yeah, I'll just say that's the truth. That's it. That's all I gotta do, right? Right. I don't know. I'm just gonna pull up another story because this asshole makes me mad. <laughs> makes that's me why mad. I did it. Makes me mad he exists. So, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. GameStop slumps 40% to a 16-year low as gaming passes it by. Yep. So just another <clears throat> nail in the coffin, so to speak, you know. It's not because people don't like physical media. I like going out and actually having a copy of the game. That's cool. But the companies aren't even making them. Like, I, I pre-ordered, you know, Fallout. They sent it to me. And I got a jewel case with a piece of cardboard with a code written on it. Um... I mean, and GameStop, their business practice is suck. I'm not saying the employees are, it's not their fault. They're told to do the shit by the company. They're treated badly by the company. They're worked to death by the company. And my experience, all the GameStop employees have been very nice. Yes. And informative. They've either been very nice or, you know, they're just 
overworked, I think. And yeah, the company itself is it needs just gutted and redone. Well, I mean, what do you, uh, what what do you, how do you redo a company when the basically they're saying the analysts are worrying about shift and streaming uh, games may be insurmountable. Well, I mean, so, but, it, it, what like Stadia? Yeah, that and you know, <clears throat> like the fact that you can basically just download your shit. You know, I hate to agree with Doug, but the, the we don't have the speeds to get the four K sixty that you want, and even you know if you can download the game, it's forty gig. So yeah. it's. And I'm sure there'll always be a certain amount of games that you'll have to buy. So, well, what, uh, what do you think they should they do? Like, just uh, I don't know, maybe have stores with a better, you know, like social. It's kind of like you know, like how there's still bookstores. It's more of like they have like areas where you can sit down, and it's more of like a social kind of oh, experience you mean- there. You know. You mean Barnes and Noble that got bought out because it was hemorrhaging money? Oh, uh, I I didn't hear about that. I don't read. Mm, you, we talked about it on the last show, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that was all last week year. Mm, Yester week. Gotcha. Now they got bought out by a hedge fund. Uh, and they were they were in debt, so they got bought out with their debt. But I mean, they a lot of a lot of these stores, like you know, like Blockbuster and all them, that were, are basically dying. You know, it's like see is to attract more people, is just to get things to actually want to go to a physical location. You know, like I said, more social thing. Maybe have food there or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to the two bar. Let's put wings up. Yeah, I mean, I used to enjoy going to the mall and stuff, you know. I mean, uh, times are different. Uh, 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 they change, man. Things have always, you know. I personally didn't enjoy them all that much because, like, my friends made it a social thing where they'd walk around all day until they got a girl's number. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to go into a store and see some cool shit. Yeah. Like, I'll go to a store now. Like, I'll go to the mall now and go to Hot Topic. And then they'll go, okay, cool. And then leave. Uh, you, go in the, you go in for the murdered out shirts? No, they got they got Fallout stuff. They got gaming shit. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't been into Hot Topic lately. F, FYE had some Fallout shit, I think, in there. Yeah, I've seen the I other mean, day. They have a lot. They basically both stores are just merch stores. You buy like candy bars and you know collector like booty o's cereal. Yeah, but but, uh, no, I mean because no one's going in there to buy CDs anymore. Right. Whereas Circus City used to be the place to buy CDs because they were cheaper. Yeah. Well, what does uh like me and you personally like to go into, you know, like uh. Micro Center and stuff. What what are they doing right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, they're 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 really competitive with prices. Number one, that's what I can see. And I don't know. They they have really good people there. Are very friendly and knowledgeable. You know, and they don't knowledgeable. They they kind of follow the Best Buy uh, motto that they don't make them follow you around and try to sell you shit. Yeah, they let their shit sell themselves, you know? They they have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of variety. I mean, heck, they have the an Apple room, you know? Well, it would be hard to handle, you know, like... Because, you know, you can have a cool computer stuff for a good couple months. The the hot new game is only going to be out for so long, and then you got a bunch of crap on your shelf that's not going no damn well. I mean... I wouldn't see why GameStop couldn't do like a thing like Micro Center, you know, have like a whole bunch of, you know, like Razor shit there and bring back the video cards like they had back in the day. A lot of computer shit, you know. 
the best games, demos, and tech of E3 2019. Yeah, so they, the article, it's good to read. So I what talk do you about read? a lot of different... No one reads. Yeah, I don't read. Well, I, I did see one of the games that looked pretty cool was that Watch Dogs 3. Were you, uh, well, did you ever play any of those games? N- nah. I, I heard, I, I thought two was a bust. I'm surprised they made it uh, three. Because two was overhyped. Hmm. I don't know. I saw a lot of Let's Plays with it. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Also, that's Cyberpunk game. I guess was they're pumping that up too. Well, I got I got a couple articles on that. Yeah, let me, let me throw that in real quick. Just just let me drop them like 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 a like a fart in elevator. Um, hold on, hold please. Okay. Since I'm a big Bethesda fan, and they had their own little conference for E3, they yeah. had B, they had B3. <laughs> it's like the vitamin. Yeah. Did you have any articles on? I should have added that. Did you hear about uh, PlayStation or Sony didn't have anything there? Well, yeah, because they figured it was wait. Yeah, I, I saw a video on how basically E3 is kind of like dying too because there's like a lot of these games companies are just doing their own shows, you know? Right. But yeah, this is just a list of everything that Bethesda was launching. Um, there's actually an article, I, I thought I had it, but I don't know. It's like uh, the entire Bethesda thing in like nine minutes because it's, you know, three hour mm-hmm. video. But, in, you know, this is the same thing in another article uh, for people to, I guess, read through. But I thought there were, oh, there's a video for some of the trailer. I thought I had the video that was nine minutes long, but I guess not. Anyway, so you go into, oh, you also had Cyberpunk. I'm surprised you didn't have this headline. Hmm. Hold on. They added a thing to the select the right click menu, so it takes me a second to find paste and go and copy and shit. Uh, Cyberpunk yeah. twenty seventy seven. Um, no, I'm not gonna add fucking ads. Fuck you. I hate on the phone now that they always bug you about. Yeah, see here, this side would like to give you notifications. Yeah, I know. This one wants to. You know, allow ads. No. Anyway, yeah. I'm just going to read the fucking title because fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, Cyber tw- Cyberpunk 2077 release date announced at E3 by Keanu Reeves? Yep. Keanu fucking Reeves. Did you hear there uh, he might be joining the Marvel Universe? No, I didn't know that. It's gonna might be in one of those uh that uh Eternals movie. Well Microsoft had their uh thing and apparently they went through great lengths to keep it secret that he was there. <laughs> like he didn't even they had uh, different people for rehearsals, like he didn't enter the building until right before he came out and did his state his uh thing. Well here's a question for you. Are you into those uh John Wick movies? I haven't seen a one of them. Uh, I, they're I, pretty I don't good. My, I don't leave my house, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone yeah. likes them, but you know, I don't. I don't leave. Well, what was the last Keanu Reeves movie that you saw? Um, uh, well, see, I don't know because I like I like a lot of old ones, so I don't like know. Bill and Ted. No, like I saw. Um. Uh. I've seen. Um. That one with the bullets. What's the Tony tricks? No. What's the What's the uh, 
surfing movie that he did with Patrick Swayze. Yeah, I saw that like 19 times because my ex liked it. Uh. Anyway, <clears throat> but you have an article here. All 76 Battle for Alamo. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Continue with Ablocker, though. At least they have an option. Battle for Alamo preview will stick around a while longer. Now, have you done the Battle Royale thing yet? No, I don't I don't like that kind of crap. Yeah, frankly, I don't like to play with other people. No, nah, that's, I mean, 76 is okay because, like, it scared me at first because it's like other players, and I'm like, no, I don't want to see someone else. No. And really, the servers are, like, so spread out, you're not close to anybody at all. And did you see any of the presentation where... uh Todd Howard was talking about this. Nah. He comes out and he's like, you know, we gave you, you know, multiplayer where you could do anything and be, you know, however you want to each other. And you're nice to each other. You're giving new pe- new players water and you're, you know, waving at each other. Gives me hope that there actually is an apocalypse. <laughs> so, yeah, and... I mean, I have all, all the player encounters that when I've had, you know, shit damaged, guys have, like, gone out of their way to find me to say, hey, man, you your can't burn the fuck down. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I don't do the Battle Royale. The, the, the guy I, I follow that recently, that uh, I follow a lot of YouTubers that just literally all they do is follow videos. Um, but, uh. I don't want to make it a video of the week because it's not that good or interesting. But if you want to see what happens with the Battle Royale playthrough, like how you you know get in and what happens, this dude Juicehead he does a entire like he did a live stream for an hour and a half where he jumped in. So it lets you know what it's like. Go ahead and close out of that. But did Juicehead stream Cuphead? Uh, you know I don't know. But, I mean, it, it, he said that it, you know, he doesn't do Battle Royales himself as much, but he, because they announced it before, really, E3, so he left afterwards to go to E3, and he went back into the video where he was talking about it, like the other video where he says whether it's good or not, and he's like, yeah, I actually uh, miss playing the Battle Royale, and he's like, and I don't miss other Battle Royales like that, he's like, so it's pretty good, Um Pretty it's good. A, well, like, you know, um, copy this here, show you the article. It makes me think that I, copy I that floppy, right? Because it they say it maintains a lot of what makes Fallout Fallout. It's like, uh, it's the same one you had. I had another link. Where the hell did it go? Anyway. But yeah, it's it's very canon, I guess, is what he says. Let's see, no, that yours is stick around a little longer. Where the hell? Copy. Let's try this again. I feel like I just pasted your link again. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Well, same pictures. Hmm. Do they? Do they? Uh, Change it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's, you know, got a couple different things. Um, like he, the, the guy I was talking about, Juice said, he does a whole video on what what's different about it. Uh, you find armor, you literally don't have to piece it together. You just find armor and put it on. It's a whole set. It's like you find wood uh, armor, so the whole thing's wood. Wood. Yeah. And you can get some strengths, and uh, then when you go back to regular, you know, game mode, some of that carries back over. Which is nice. 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 Yes. Um, But the... Let me see if you have it. Oh, you don't have it. See, the other thing is they announced in the uh, expansion, another thing that people are psyched about 
is there's actual NPCs. Uh, because that was a year ago. They come out and go. There's going to be no human NPCs. It's all going to be real people. And everyone's like, "What?" And then they pretended we were like, "Yeah." And then a year later, hey, we got actual NPCs with dialogue. And we're like, "Yeah." And then we're like, "Wait, what?" Oh, it's cool to be able to fight NPCs and real people. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, it jumps forward a couple years. Because right now, if you play, it keeps saying it's still the day that the vaults open. And then later, I guess, time jumps forward. And the people that ran away from the, you know, the bombs come back. Hmm. So... Yeah. I forget, when does uh, 76 take place? Is that after or before... Fallout 4. Before. Fallout oh, is it 4. like a prequel thing? Fallout 4, you, uh, the person falls asleep and wakes up 210 years after the bombs dropped. This takes place 25 years after the bombs drop. Uh, so it's a little bit before. So is there like... What, what else can they do with the series? Like, I mean... Was there happy endings at, after these games, or what? Um, I mean, no. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's there. It's a lot of choose your own stuff. Um, kind of like they do the same thing with Wolfenstein. They pick a, a, an option and they make that canon. So, like, no matter what your play choice was whatever option is as long as as long as it's relevant like the whole universe doesn't change that much really it just affects your area your local area uh, um, but if it's like years into the future whoa look at this dirty hippie look at this bullshit steam gamer yep yeah. What it is, Doug. Steam, bitch. <laughs> gives a shit. Right. Who gives a shit about you giving a shit? I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh-huh. Doug's got his hair down today. Yeah. Got the locks flowing. He must have broke his headband. Um... No, you can't. I know you want it, but you can't. So, Steam and home streaming is now available outside the home, huh? I guess so. so if you the want, article says. If I mean, you want to stream shit outside your home, now you have the ability to. I mean, it's like Xbox has remote play, right? I think so, yeah. This is a similar thing, I guess. You use your home computer as a server, as it were. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, whatever. What do you think, Doug? Because we were talking before about Sony dipped out of that E3, huh? Yeah, that, that to me, that's a garbage move. Well, some people are saying that they just want, like other companies are doing, they just want to do their own show, and E3 might be dying. Let's see, here's the thing about that. E3 has been known for so long as the place to go for information on the new uh, new console, new games. Taking the focus away from that is not going to serve them in the long term. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ian, I, mean, I got w- one last uh, gaming slash what the fuck story. You mind if I dump it in here real quick? Sure. It's still kind of related to what we we're talking about. Tesla is bringing the Fallout Shelter game to its cars. <laughs> <laughs> remember last week I said they were bringing some game to their cars? I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, Cuphead, that's right. So is that like for the back seat? I hope. <laughs> no, I mean if the driver isn't, you know, 
driving. You could already play Atari games. Well, it's basically a computer, so why not? So, yeah, why not? Hmm. Why not? Hey, hey, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, but yeah, Doug, it's like, it's just like a lot of these streaming services, you know, these game companies, they want to do their own shit. They want, they want their slice of the pie, you know? Well, yeah, they want their own slice of the pie, but at some point, intelligence has to win out. Want money. Want your money. I want your money. Check it out. More crude oil. Samsung Galaxy S10 depreciated by 50% in 30 days, says the report. Not surprising. Oh, Although, boy. Is it because it's Android? It? Yeah. There he is. Well, see, they got a theory well, Actually, on that. Frank, show him your phone real quick. Shh, shh, shh. Hold on. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Google and Apple are ushering in an era of ugly squared phone cameras. I wouldn't agree with that. I actually don't think that the the camera layouts on either Samsung or Apple phones are particularly bad. That's okay. You could be wrong, Doug. Well, what do you think is best for the camera as far as the position, at least, do you think? You like it up? Isn't the iPhone right now? It's like up in the corner. Yeah. Here's a picture yeah. of my new phone, Doug. By the way. Surprised it's uh, not being held up by stickiness if you smell them cooking. Show them. Is that the weave side? Yeah, there you go. Hmm. More or less the sticky side. I'm surprised you didn't get one of those cases with like the glitter flow. No, the case came with the phone. Hmm. It did. That's really scary. <laughs> did it come sticky? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, most men come sticky. Sticky icky. And there's your answer, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of sticky. Speaking of gaming. Right there, there, baby. Oh, boy. My first official issue, and I haven't even opened it up yet. Did you get a board yet, Doug? Not yet. I'm still uh, looking for my first one. I'm probably going to get something pretty cheap. Although, I do have uh, a pretty good idea of what I want. Um, we went to Columbus yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I found my way into a Zoomy shop. There are actually two different Zoomies. Uh, one in Players and one in the Tuttle Mall. Mm-hmm. I pretty much know exactly what I want, at least for my first board. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the BAM element board, uh, some independent trucks with risers. I'm going to go with some uh, Spitfire Formula 4s. Hmm. So, and I think they're called Reds. For my uh, bearings, so uh, we looked looked at. I think it was skateboard warehouse or like boarding warehouse. Everything, including my sweet grip tape, is going to end up running me about one hundred eighty. Hmm. This will be your first board. Although, if I really wanted to, I could just go down to the Zoomy store, 
get some bargain basement stuff and pay about a hundred. I I went to Kmart <laughs> back in the day. I've thought about going to like you know going to get the cheapest board possible because uh, since I know I'm probably gonna fuck up and break it. So uh, I but think you're gonna need a heavy duty board. They make them. Although uh, most of the places I've actually looked at and asked questions on, they basically say that the heavy duty boards almost don't last as uh, much longer than, excuse me, like a standard Canadian maple. So, well, did you ever watch? You watched that scale uh, skateboarding channel, right? Doug, you uh, said the other week. Yeah, I watched Braille. Yeah. Yeah, they they did a a carbon fiber uh, like with steel uh, reinforced on the inside mm-hmm. board. You, you almost need that shit, man. Yeah, you know how much that motherfucker cost? Or would cost? Oh, actually, I think it was that Line X or whatever. How much does that shit cost? Like, if you want to get your shit with that truck. You ever hear of that, Frank? Yeah, Line X with the truck bed liner? Oh, yeah. No, how much it cost them it. just to do one board just to, to to line the board how much at least a hundred just for the line x well isn't that shit aren't skateboards real expensive to begin with like all those like art and stuff on them oh yeah so i mean if i wanted to hey. go hardcore uh there's a, a brand that went through braille that's supposed to have like the quote unquote indestructible skateboard or like the closest thing to it. Uh yeah. that just for the board is two hundred. Oh, I believe in it. Size. Because I'm gonna end up going with an eight and a half board. I mean Yeah, I mean skate you, you gotta put money into your hobbies, man. Oh yeah. I mean you kinda have to treat a skateboard like a car. Yeah. With very little pinstripe as humanly possible. <laughs> right, Frank? Uh, you gotta put the <laughs> pinstriping in there. Yeah. Aliens. Oh my god, hey, or aliens. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second, Frank. Before you say that, he says you gotta you gotta do it right, you'd be like aliens. Yeah. <laughs> they have all those memes on there, man. It's so funny. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Or the cat that's all like, aliens. Wow. <laughs> did you did you see that where they did like Samuel L. Jackson with the hair and he's like, motherfuckers. I actually watched a video on YouTube yesterday where it was every single Samuel L. Jackson motherfucker in history. Oh, really? Up until like 2016, and it was like a five minute video. <laughs> wow. Do you know Samuel L. Jackson was in his 70s? Yeah. I believe it. Did you. Motherfucker. Doug, did you watch that Captain Marvel movie? Because I. Made him yeah. all young. Oh yeah. What were, what were your thoughts on that movie? Because that people are saying that she she was just pushed. Nobody's heard of her before, but they push her because of the of Nazis. No, Captain Marvel's been around for quite a long time. I've never fucking heard of her. She's not like Iron Man. Well, I know this is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a shock to most people, but before. Robert Downey Jr. played Iron Man. Iron Man was basically considered a B-level superhero. I mean, I I was partial to Iron Man growing up, just because I'm a techie too, and like even as a kid, like I thought Iron Man was cool. But to most people, Iron Man wasn't a very popular character. Well, but I mean, in general, you know, like. How Marvel is trying to do that whole diversity thing now, right? 
Well, yeah, you you take a look at the comic lines that they have. A, a lot of it is a diverse cast, and from top to bottom. Yeah, things have changed, and that's also the way Stan Lee liked it. Stan Lee wanted diversity. Oh, really? Yeah. But the thing most people uh, have to remember, too, is there are different versions of different characters. So a lot of people think of Captain Marvel with Carol Danvers, and they want to think of, like, Miss Marvel. You know? Yeah. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me correct, there's also a Captain Marvel who is a man in Marvel Comics. But Yeah, I think I remember yeah, that part. There's just, there's so many different different things going on as far as Marvel Comics goes. Like, for instance, uh, Samuel L. Jackson playing um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Nick Fury. Most people, when Samuel L. Jackson was cast, lost their fucking shit when he was cast. Like, Nick Fury isn't black. Well, yes, he is. Uh, it's the uh, ultimate version of Nick Fury who's black. And he's playing that version. Uh-huh. So people freaked the fuck out when he was cast, and they're like, "Okay, well, back your shit down there." <laughs> you know, there hasn't always been a white Nick Fury. Well, it's just yeah. like what they did with Kingpin for that Daredevil movie. Yeah, because so. they changed him up. Kingpin, yeah. I think of the the movie with the bowler with the wooden hand. Yeah, <laughs> no. but Doug, did you see uh, the Avengers movie? The new one? I've seen everything up to... I actually went to go see uh, Dark Phoenix last night. It was fucking trash. <laughs> uh, well, Walked out halfway through. It was fucking garbage. So you did see Endgame then, though? Yes. Yeah. What do you think, though, about the Hulk, man? Because I really feel like I was really disappointed with him because it's like they neutered him, man, with the past two movies. Again, there's a version of the Hulk that's like that. Well, I mean, like, sure, there's Professor Hulk, but they even even hardly fight or do anything in the movie. I mean, it's like, Matt, I just missed the old Hulk, dude. Smash. Whatever happened to fucking Smash, dude? That's what the Hulk is. Actually, what I want to see is a World Breaker Hulk movie. That would be fucking awesome. It just goes apeshit and... Send it towards a Planet Hulk movie, but you know the thing yeah. you got to remember is this: he can't carry a movie. I'm sorry, like, like Mark Ruffalo cannot carry a Hulk movie. The closest Why do you say that? Edward Norton. That is the absolute closest yeah. that was Ed Norton. I well. think he was perfectly suited for the Hulk, and the studio fucked it up. Not to mention the fact that Universal technically owns the rights to the Hulk movies, and they won't give that up for shit. Well, that's what I heard a lot, because Marvel Studio wants it like a specific way. And that's why I heard a lot of directors oh, yeah. and stuff they clash with, and they actually quit, you know? Yeah. A lot of these directors. The only, the only two franchises that are currently holdouts, as far as rights go, is Universal with the Hulk and Sony with Spider-Man. That's it. That's the only yeah. two studios that have anything outside of the Disney Marvel banner. No pun intended. Right. Well, guys, it's been an awesome time, but I gotta let my dogs out before they poop in the house. So, what, the, you don't you gotta do your your articles now, Frank? I I sprinkled them in while you were doing yours. That was it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Frankie, if you get a, a a lead on any skateboards in your area, you'd be sure to let me know. I think you, I think you should wait for that iBook. Yeah, you can skate on that iBook. Yeah, I should still. That's okay. I'm good, bro. Do you know why? Because I got a MacBook, so I'm good. Ah, uh, you're gonna go. Buy a skateboard for thirty bucks, but it's missing half of it. <laughs> now you should get that that pro stand and skateboard on that. I got it. It's only thirty bucks, but there's like two wheels and 
You got to lean to the side. Got to lean, huh? Loose trucks make easier turning. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and boogie. So, uh, boogie guys... to 988 or 1988. Yeah, something like that. You guys have a good night. Boogie pinstripe 88. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, guys. Okay, man. And I don't know if you guys are. Do you guys stay connected when I leave or? I don't know, man. Let's, I know let's it's still out. live, so. Well, when, when I leave, it won't be. <laughs> so, all right, guys, you have a good one. You too, buddy. Yes. Oh, the theme song. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, I was going to say happy Friday, but it's fucking Saturday now, so happy Catterday. Happy Sunday. Cat scratch fever. Fuck. Oh. All right, later, guys. <laughs>